All right, all right, guys. Well, I don't know if you've seen some of my past videos. I've showcased one of my products um, that I design and I make them here. I 3D print them. You can see some of the 3D printers behind me and the main one is back behind the camera. But, but anyway, this is it. This is a blade balancer. And you can see when you, you know, lay your blade across there, it, it just rocks back and forth and you can have a bubble level where you can see if it's balanced or not. Um, it'll fit up to a three and a half inch wide uh, blade. And the main thing is that that adapter here is spring loaded so that when you lay the blade on top of it, it'll accommodate the different sizes of your mounting hole. And here's some older blades that I have. So here's one that's really, really common. You can see the, the size of hole that's on it. And you just lay it on there, jiggle it, make sure that it's all on there balanced. And that's pretty balanced. Just slightly, slightly heavier on this side. You can see the bubble level. Just barely. But, uh, but that's not bad. And you can, fit the, you can see the star pattern on there. Lay it on there and jiggle it. Yeah, that's way, way heavy on that side. And the biggest thing I have, so you can see, this, this is the blade setup, by the way. This, is, this comes off uh, the Honda mower. Uh, it has the quad cut and everything, and it's a two-blade system. But you can see how large that, that part of the mounting hole is, and it just will not center on this. Um, you can see it's that mounting hole is just too large. So that is what this is all about. This might cover 80% of the blades on the market, but the stuff like uh, this Honda mower and some zero turns, they might have a, a larger mounting hole and it won't accommodate it. So, here's the next generation of the blade balancer. You can see it looks very similar. Uh, I redesigned the cradle part of it. Um, it's very sturdy and you can see the size of the, uh, of the mounting hole. Alright, so you can see the difference here. Uh, the main difference is the diameter of the adapters here. Here's the original one, and here's the redesigned one. So basically this is, uh, it has now an inch and a quarter diameter that you can fit through there, and you can see the, the base is redesigned a bit. But the inch and a quarter happens to be the size. This is one of the uh, blades on the Honda uh, quad cut and it fits right on there. So let's let's see if it's balanced. Yeah, heavy on that side. And here's the smaller here's the other blade on the Honda and it has the smaller mounting hole on it. That's pretty balanced. Just slightly, ever so slightly on this side. But you can see the bubble level is still within the, that middle range. You know, it's not perfect, but as long as it's within that range, it's good to go. And with this stuff, here's the, uh, the, the regular blades we've looked at before. Uh, it'll still fit the smaller diameter. It was just barely. Just like before. And here's the star pattern. You can see it'll fit the, the diameter there. It'll just wrap around it. Let's jiggle it and make sure it's... Yeah. Same result. It was heavy on this side. So... Yeah, so here's the... Uh, here's that Honda 
blade. Let's see, let me double check it. Yeah, it's this side that was showing. And this, it, they don't really need to be sharpened, but I'm going to take it off of this side. I want to make sure that it's going to. Uh, going to be balanced when I reinstall it. This is my personal, off my personal mower actually, so let me take some off of this and then we'll uh, we'll check the balance again. Alright, so there's the blade. I took some off of that side. And let's see if it's balanced. It's not bad. Oh. Just barely. That's not bad though. You can see that's what I used to sharpen it, a flat disc on my angle grinder. It has become my favorite way of doing it. It comes out with a nice clean cut, but now it is sharp and balanced. Yeah, so there it is. Whew, hot out there. Um, but you can see it's it's easy to use. It's portable. I just took it outside with me and just plopped it on my on my toolbox <laughs> and used it out there. But uh, it's very portable, very sturdy. I make these out of, uh, these new ones are ASA. It's a type of filament that will withstand uh, higher heat, uh, chemical resistant. should be very sturdy and when I can get my hands on it, uh, I'm going to start possibly with ASA uh, with 20% carbon fiber. Um, I really don't think that's necessary because it's not under any kind of big load. Uh, but having it heat resistant and chemical resistance probably pretty important, you know, given this in your garage, right? Uh, and it is a tool. All right, so, well, that is it. Uh, I just wanted to show you the, the new design. Uh, like I said, they're available on, on the website, hotshotpowerequipment.com, uh, and you can find them on Amazon and on eBay. So uh, feel free, I'll include links to, to all the sources, and, and that's about it for this video. So, so I'm looking forward to uh, getting this new design out, and I'll probably hold some giveaways here pretty soon. I've never done a, a, a live show, um, but once I figure out how I'm going to do these giveaways, I'll probably give away quite a few of them, and, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, but give me your thoughts so well that's it for this video so as always thanks for watching be sure to subscribe and watch for my next video